I've been in Brooklyn for, or in New York, since uh, 1998. I have not lived in New York without having a motorcycle, so I just kind of can't imagine doing that. I currently ride a Ducati Scrambler, and I just got it late last year. I had a Vespa actually at the beginning of the pandemic, and it was stolen. And instead of getting a new Vespa, I thought, let me get a motorcycle again. Riding a motorcycle during the pandemic, it was like no other experience. Being on Fifth Avenue, Park Avenue in the 50s, like zero traffic. The only one there was just like surreal. For the last five years, I own a exclusive staffing agency where I staff executive and personal assistants mainly but also uh, private chefs and housekeepers, any kind of high-end support staff. I used to just go into the office to uh, interview clients and candidates, and now we do that all over Zoom at home, um, so I don't get to have that commute anymore, which I kind of miss. I used to work as an executive personal assistant myself, and when I left, I was actually referring friends or, or people that I knew to like old bosses, and so I had that aha moment of like, wait, People have agencies that do this and I'm already doing it, you know, with both the clients and the candidates, I'm doing it for free. So let me open this LLC like right now. Literally the moment I had that thought, I got on my computer and I was like, how to create an LLC? The hardest kind of part of, of establishing my business was going from like just taking the plunge and, you know, hoping for the best. You don't have that security of the paycheck that comes in. That for me was kind of the biggest fear, but at the same time, I think it's pretty amazing to take that leap and just kind of like take it as it comes. One of my earliest clients was a big time fashion designer who during fashion week had to go from you know one fashion show to the other to the next. This fashion designer sat on the back of my friend's motorcycle and got to all of her shows. Kind of a really fun client to have, you know, in the beginning of my business. Same thing that the feeling that I have with my work as riding is I enjoy the freedom of it. It's something that I've learned is really like a big part of me. Personally, because I am Icelandic, something that I need to do at some point. There's a ring road in Iceland and it goes all around the island. So it could be kind of fun to bring some New York bikers over to Iceland for a trip like that. But yeah, that's something on the agenda that I really, really want to do. But for now, just enjoying the freedom of riding in Brooklyn and the city.